Uh, clearly, everybody is happy to see him come home. But didn't the president negotiate with, with terrorists, which is against U.S. policy, <clears throat> excuse me, and doesn't this give an incentive to groups like the Taliban to take other U.S. soldiers because they have a price now? Well, first of all, this was not a hostage. This was a prisoner of war. It is much different when you're negotiating with the enemy over prisoners of war. We have done prisoner swaps many but, but times in our history. But always with nation states. We've never done it with well, an insurgent group like this. Unfortunately, this is our enemy now. This is our enemy now. We don't have nation states as enemies. We have, in fact, terrorist organizations as enemies. And this was a prisoner of war. I guarantee so you, so we you, Chris, negotiated with terrorists. I guarantee you, Chris, that if, in fact, this man's life had been lost, and it came out that we had this opportunity and our commander in chief passed on it, the Republicans would be going crazy right now. We saved this man's life. The commander in chief acted within his constitutional authority, which he should have done to in fact get that man after five years of captivity. I'm very proud that we now have no POWs left in Afghanistan and the president should be proud of it also.